Okay, we are ready. All right, so I'm back home. I saw the patient that I was talking about earlier in my quick video earlier. Um, this was, uh, this is a lady with a secondary lymphedema from the past and her lymphedema is, has been managed. Her weight has also been managed. Um, apparently with um, the excessive or excess weight that she had um, before her joints, specifically her left knee joint cartilage are diminishing. So her orthopedic doctor has been seeing her doing all those non-operative or conservative treatment first. And um, she has been seeing the doctor for a while now and till they decided that she is ready for the surgery of her left knee so she had a surgery done and um, i would like to talk about a little bit about lymphedema and knee replacement surgery in her case she has to have a knee replacement surgery okay so let me share to you my screen i'm gonna do this here Let's go to here. Okay, so I found this in the web. Um, I usually go through the PubMed. Um, it's like a research-based articles. But this one is on lymphedema blog. And this is good to know for those of you guys that are having trouble with lymphedema and arthritis or osteoarthritis of your knee that you might be needing a knee replacement and the most common question that we always get is am i able to get a new knee if i have lymphedema is there what are the risk of getting a new knee if i have a lymphedema on my knee or on my leg so in this article, they uh, talk about pre-operative considerations for lymphedema patients. So these are the necessary things that you will consider if you want to have a knee replacement. Okay, so number one, which is the most important, is you want to make sure you will have, um, you will focus on infection prevention. Now, some doctors might give you antibiotics before the surgery just to make sure you're not getting any infection from the surgery. And also they will put you on a drug uh, regimen for diminishing or prevention of blood clots. So you, they will put you on blood thinners unless otherwise it's contraindicated for your case. And also you can make arrangement or schedule yourself for a, a decongestive massage therapy or seeing your lymphedema therapist after you have rehabilitation done for your knee replacement. Okay, and then you can also make sure, so by doing that um, preparation, you wanna make sure you tell your primary doctor, your orthopedic surgeon, and if you already have an existing, existing lymphedema therapist, tell them that you are getting a knee replacement done. And once you finish with a regular rehabilitation from your knee replacement, that you might need to have a boost of your lymphedema therapy, specifically for the manual lymphatic drainage. And also before your final decision, if you really want this um, replacement surgery, you want to make sure if possible that NSAIDs uh, you will be taking in. It is possible for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs to help. It's going to help with consideration of surgical complications. It is important to try all methods of treatment before surgery is planned. So just like any other even if you have you don't have lymphedema, you want to try to do all the conservative treatment first. Um, do physical therapy, do exercise, try to um, manage your weight, decrease your weight to the that might help you not get a lot of pain on your knee joints. And you can see your surgeon, and they usually give you the the the, the cortisone injection. Now, if it doesn't work, then you know the last option will be replacing your knee joint with a prosthetic knee. Okay, so, and then let me, let me stop the share for a minute and let me stop. Okay, so I'm back. All right, uh, some potential complications that we need to consider 
um, if you are going to um, proceed with your knee replacement, um, the most important ones are blood clots. We know for a fact that patients with lymphedema, we are, you guys are very susceptible to get blood clots. And of course, infection. So blood clots, infection, and you also want to consider wound healing. Sometimes it takes a while for the wound to heal when we have lymphedema. And just like any other kind of surgery, we also want to make sure that we are aware that we might have a nerve damage, um, injuries to the arteries of the leg, loss of knee, mo uh, well, loss of knee motion, this is temporary. Now we know for a fact that every after knee replacement, the most, I would always tell this to my clients, your number one enemy is pain. So that pain is not from the arthritis. It's a pain from the surgery. This is a temporary pain. So we have to conquer this enemy in order for us to get a full use of our new knee. And most of the time, 90, 95% of my clients that I see for knee replacement without lymphedema, they always have a good result. Now, I do have good results with some of my lymphedema clients. So it really depends on how much you put in effort you put in the effort in your rehabilitation, in your physical therapy after the surgery. All right. So those are some of the complications that you will be expecting um, that you might not. All, the, the nice thing about the, uh, the orthopedic surgeon, especially nowadays, like recently, um, most of the doctors, they will always give you for the blood clots. They will always give you that injection for um, the blood thinner or they give you aspirin or if you're already in blood thinner then it's good so like what i have said earlier some of the doctors will put you on blood thinner before the, even before the surgery and some doctors will also give you antibiotics just in case to prevent you from getting one for, from getting in, an infection on your knee replacement um, site and um, lately, most doctors, especially the doctors that I, I um, work here in, in the Tampa Bay area in Florida, what they do is they, they give the clients that they have for during the surgery, either a knee replacement or a hip replacement, they give them a nerve block. Now this nerve block will really help the patient because it's a block you don't feel any pain during the very acute stage of surgery surgery which is the day of the surgery and probably three to five days after surgery you still feel numb or not a whole lot of pain on the surgical site which is your knee or your hip then therapy is better movement at an early age it would be easier for the client and you you i see a whole lot of you know different result this time which is like a hundred percent most of my patients they recover faster than you know like the ones that i saw before the pandemic or a few years before um you know they did the nerve block put the nerve block during surgery so that's a plus okay all right so then if you decide to get the surgery then you go ahead, do the surgery because it's really important for you to be able to gain the, the motion or the use of your new knee so that it will be easier for you to do your activities of daily living and for you to be able to walk around, stand up, and as I've said, you know, continue with life with plus the lymphedema that you have. And remember, health is wealth. Prevention is the best medication. So before it gets before your condition gets bad go see your doctor go see your physical therapist or go see go see your lymphedema therapist thank you bye bye